Invasive species are a serious issue, often introduced into ecosystems where they don't belong, causing widespread damage to the environment, native wildlife, and even human activities. In the United States, several species have made themselves unwanted guests, and in today's countdown, we'll explore the top 10 invasive animals that have left a significant mark on America's landscapes and ecosystems. Let's start in the Sunshine State, where the Burmese python has taken up residence in the Everglades. Originally introduced through the exotic pet trade, these massive snakes were released or escaped into the wild, where they now thrive. With no natural predators and a huge appetite, they've become a major threat to native wildlife. Burmese pythons are known to prey on everything from small mammals to alligators, and their population is growing fast. Conservationists are working hard to manage this python problem, but with snakes capable of growing over 20 feet, it's a tough battle. Next up, feral hogs, which might sound like an innocent farm animal gone rogue, but these pigs are no joke. Originating from domestic pigs that escaped or were released, Feral hogs have spread across much of the United States, causing havoc in their wake. They dig up farmland, destroy crops, and damage ecosystems by uprooting plants and disturbing soil. On top of that, they're aggressive and can even be dangerous to humans. Plus, with a high reproduction rate, their population is tough to control. Hunters are often called upon to manage their numbers, but these pigs are resilient and resourceful. The zebra mussel may be small, but don't let its size fool you. These little guys are a big problem. Originally from Eastern Europe, zebra mussels made their way to the U.S. in the ballast water of ships and have since spread throughout the Great Lakes and other freshwater systems. They latch onto any hard surface, including boats, docks, and water intake pipes, clogging up infrastructure and costing millions of dollars in damage. They also filter out nutrients from the water, leaving native species struggling for survival. Zebra mussels are an invasive species success story, unfortunately for everyone else. The European starling was introduced to the U.S. in 1890 by a group of Shakespeare enthusiasts who thought it would be a great idea to bring over every bird mentioned in the Bard's plays. Flash forward to today, and the country now has over 200 million starlings. These birds are highly adaptable and aggressive, pushing out native species from their habitats. They also form massive flocks that can damage crops and create public nuisances. Starlings are a classic example of how a well-meaning introduction can go horribly wrong. Asian carp were originally brought to the U.S. in the 1970s to help control algae in fish farms and wastewater treatment facilities. But like many invasive species, they didn't stay where they were supposed to. These fish escaped into the wild and have since spread throughout rivers and lakes in the central U.S., especially the Mississippi River Basin. Known for their jumping abilities, they can leap out of the water when startled, often hitting boaters. The real danger, though, is their impact on ecosystems, as they outcompete native fish for food and disrupt aquatic food chains. The cane toad was introduced to the U.S., specifically in Florida, to control pests in sugarcane fields. However, this toad quickly became more of a problem than the pests it was meant to eliminate. Cane toads are highly toxic, and their venom can kill predators that try to eat them, including pets like dogs. They reproduce quickly and have no natural predators in the U.S., making them a difficult species to manage. While they might look harmless, these toads pose a significant threat to native wildlife and ecosystems. The European green crab has spread along the coast of North America, and it's one tough crustacean. Originally from Europe, it arrived in the U.S. likely via ballast water from ships. These crabs are aggressive predators that feed on shellfish like clams and oysters, threatening valuable fisheries. They also dig into eelgrass beds, which serve as important habitats for native fish and invertebrates. Efforts to control their populations have been challenging, as green crabs are adaptable and can live in a wide range of environments. Okay, so technically not an animal, but we can't talk about invasive species without mentioning kudzu, the infamous vine that ate the South. Introduced from Japan in the late 1800s, kudzu was originally used for erosion control. However, it quickly spread out of control, covering entire landscapes in its thick vines. Kudzu grows at an alarming rate, up to a foot per day in ideal conditions, and smothers native plants and trees. While it might not have teeth or claws, kudzu has become a major ecological menace in the southeastern U.S. The northern snakehead is a fish with an eerie nickname, Frankenfish. It earned that title because it can actually breathe air and survive on land for short periods of time, using its fins to walk between bodies of water. 
Native to Asia, snakeheads were likely introduced to the U.S. through the live fish trade. They're aggressive predators that outcompete native species for food, and their ability to travel overland makes them particularly dangerous. Efforts to control their spread have been challenging, as these fish are tough and adaptable. Finally, we've got the Nutria, a large semi-aquatic rodent native to South America. Nutria were introduced to the U.S. for their fur, but when the fur trade declined, they were released into the wild. Now they've become a major pest in wetland areas, particularly in Louisiana. Nutria feed on wetland plants and their burrowing habits can cause serious damage to levees, dikes, and other water infrastructure. Their presence has led to significant erosion in wetland ecosystems, making them a major problem for conservationists. Invasive species are a serious threat to the environment, economy, and even human health. From Burmese pythons in the Everglades to Nutria in Louisiana's wetlands, these animals have established themselves as uninvited guests across the U.S. Managing these invasive populations is an ongoing challenge, requiring constant vigilance and innovative solutions. Keep an eye out for these species in your area. And remember, even small changes can have a massive impact on local ecosystems. Thanks for watching and stay prepared.